Good afternoon, everybody. Corey here from Sky's the Limit Car Care, and today we're going to talk about five things you did not know about CarPro products. So the first thing we're going to talk about today is CarPro nozzles and uh, what you use, what products you use them with, uh, what each one does, and a little tips and tricks to make them work best. Um, you may have already learned some of this information from our website on Sky's the Limit Car Care or from our packing slips and some of the different uh, extra instructions we give you to help you know these things, but a lot of people miss it and, and don't see it, so we wanted to go into detail on that first. So number one, out of the different nozzles you may get from CarPro, depending on the product, you get the snow, uh, snow soap pump. So snow soap pump is going to come with um, products that need to be or can be pumped out. Um, there's other products that you just take the lid off and dump a little out, but in some cases uh, it's really helpful to just have that snow soap pump. So that one's a no-brainer. Um, I'll go ahead and get into this part now, but it's true of a lot of these products. Uh, the CarPro 500 mil bottle is shorter than the CarPro 1 liter bottle by a little bit. And so obviously CarPro is not going to send you know, one size nozzle with a 500 mil and a different size nozzle with a 1 liter. Um, what they do is they give you one nozzle and then if you go to put that into a 500 mil, it's going to, if you just press it down and screw it in, it's going to bunch it up like that. That can have an effect here, uh, sometimes it's going to work fine and sometimes it's going to cause trouble or depending on the type of nozzle, it's going to sh shove it against the, um, the surface too hard or pinch it up here. So one tip that we give people if you're having trouble with your nozzles or if you just want to make them work correctly right from the start, uh, if you have a one liter bottle, they're probably going to just work fine as is, but if you have a 500 mil bottle, then uh, the best thing to do is take the, take the nozzle, place it about right there, and then at an angle, leave a little bit extra and then just take a pair of scissors and cut it at a slight angle right there if it's going to be for your 500 mil bottle. And then it's not going to press up as much. So that's a nice little tip. Uh, that's the case with a lot of the nozzles from CarPro. Um, this one here, if you have a, a fitting on the end like that for the foaming um, or the solvent nozzle, then you don't want to pull that off, obviously. That won't come off. So what you can do is you can just pull that out. You, again, measure it, leave just slightly longer, take it to the top, cut that off straight, and then you can press that right back in there after you've cut that and make sure that it's nice and secure. And basically you're just making sure that the nozzle suits the bottle. So back to the point, we've got the snow soap pump. Next, the one that's white, this is a foaming nozzle. So a foaming nozzle is gonna go with products like uh, CarPro Inside, it's gonna go with products like um, Retire so that we can put a nice foam on the, on the surface. And basically, when you get a packing slip from us in your box, it's going to say on our actual, the way we've done it at Sky's Limit Car Care, it's going to say on the actual packing slip which type of nozzle you use with each. So that's a foaming nozzle, that's a solvent nozzle, and that'll, that literally actually says solvents. So a solvent nozzle like that, chemical and solvent resistant, that is going to work with products that are solvents. For instance, uh, Tarex, Trix, a C Quartz Fabric, products like that. Um, the next one is the standard nozzle, and this is going to go in pretty much every other product. Um, again, just check your packing slip that comes with the products you order from us, and it'll tell you right there which product. If it says Iron X, it'll tell you which type of product. This is a standard nozzle. So foaming nozzle, solvent nozzle, standard nozzle. This nozzle you probably haven't seen yet, but eventually this will be popping up in the, uh, in the shipments instead of these. So these are going to be replaced with these, and these are both standard nozzle. Um, you just won't see these yet until we run out of these. So that's pretty much it for the nozzles, and next we're going to get into C-Quartz stickers. So a question we get a lot is, what's this for? So the C-Quartz sticker, uh, when you look at it like that, you can't see anything on that. It's just a shiny hologram, and you might wonder, you know, you, when you open up your bottle of C-Quartz or C-Quartz UK, you might wonder, what is that sticker for? Um, well, you might not even know it's a sticker, but uh, what it is for is to be peeled off of the surface and then placed inside of your windshield or inside of your passenger or driver's side window. And from the other side, you're able to read exactly what it says, which is protected by C-Quartz. So it's kind of a cool little um, 
vanity sticker that basically just you know lets people know that you've got your car protected with C-Quartz. Obviously, that's not going to deter somebody at a, um, a dealership or something like that from washing your car just because it says protected by C-Quartz. And so for that reason, um, at Sky's the Limit Car Care, we actually created these uh, plastic mirror hangers. We have these made right here in Florida and uh, we sell them on our site. You can pick one up with your order. You just add it to your cart and you're good to go. And basically what it tells you and what it tells your dealership when you drop your car off for an oil change or whatever else, it says, warning, do not wash. And it lets them know if you wash this car, because as we all know, a lot of people at dealerships and other places don't necessarily know how to wash your car without swirling it up and messing it up. So this makes it very clear to them that if you do wash my car and you swirl it up, that you're gonna have to pay me or pay whoever to fix this and so it's going to it's going to be expensive for you to have this all polished and fixed and so when they do mess up your car you can say not only did i tell you do not wash my car but i literally pointed to this hanger sitting right there in front of the car and you're more likely to win your case and and be able to hold them responsible for the damage they do to your car so that's the c court stickers um, next we're going to talk about the two-faced towels which you may or may not know are the exact same towel other than the color so maybe the, the dye color can have some impact on the actual towel, but as far as the fibers go, the GSM, the manufacturing, everything about these towels are exactly the same other than the color. The reason that we make two different colors, and they're all edgeless, 350 GSM, they work great for a ton of things, and it doesn't matter if you use the blue or the orange, um, either way, you're gonna get the same results. Um, the most the thing that, that these are most often used for, I would say, is uh, panel wipe with CarPro Eraser and wiping off coatings. Those two functions work really well for it. So uh, the reason that there's two different colors is because you don't necessarily want to get those things mixed up. So if you go to use a towel to wipe CarPro Eraser, the panel wipe off the car before you coat, and then you have it sitting over there on your detailing table, and then you go to coat the car, and you still have some, some of these sitting over there, then you go to coat the car, and as you, you know, you say you coat a section or two, and then you go to wipe that coating back off. Then if you pick this towel up that has eraser on it, and you go to wipe it off, then that's going to damage your coating. It's not cured yet. It has no business having eraser put back on it after the ceramic coating is, is fresh. So at that point, you want a brand new towel, and by color coating them and having a, a orange one, then it's very, uh, very simple to make sure you don't mix those up. So the next thing we're going to talk about is the entire design of the CarPro product line. A lot of people don't realize that the entire CarPro product line is designed to go full circle. And what I mean by that is there's products that are designed up front that are able to be used at the back end. And what I mean by that is you have a ceramic coating that those products were designed behind, and that is uh, CarPro C-Quartz. So C-Quartz um, is a ceramic coating designed to protect your vehicle long term. But basically, you need products that are going to wash, decontaminate, polish, paint prep, coat, and then maintain the vehicles. And so when CarPro created their product line, they made it to where it could do exactly that. Um, and as it's uh, evolved over time, they've added in little products along the way that can do that. So, so the reason we say full circle with the CarPro products is because the products that were designed to prepare for a ceramic coating are also the products that are often used to maintain a ceramic coating. Uh, eraser, not so much. That's going to be used to prepare but not to maintain. And Pearl is going to be used for plastic engine rubber and leather. But these three products, as well as CarPro Reset, Bug Out, and a few other products may be used in the beginning. If you have tar on the vehicle, you're going to use that to remove it, Tar X. Uh, Iron X you're most certainly going to use during the preparation. And then once you've coated your car and it's time to maintain it, then these products are going to come in handy in the future as well. So for instance, you've coated your car, a few months have gone by, um, you've been washing it with the CarPro Reset. We don't have it sitting out here right now, but you've been washing it with CarPro Reset regularly. But over time, brake dust is coming off of other vehicles in front of you, hitting the cars, and brake dust is sticking to the coating. For sure, it's not going to stick to the coating the way that it would have stuck to the bare paint but it's still gonna collect some over time. And so one of the most important products in the whole product line, and it was one of the original products, in fact, uh, when there was only a handful, is CarPro Iron X. CarPro Iron X, which we use to prepare, we're now gonna use that to maintain. And it's designed to not damage the ceramic coating whatsoever. The only product 
that we would be a little cautious with on a ceramic coating is Tarex because that's extremely strong product. Uh, it can still be used. It's terrific for removing tar from the surface. It's just that we're not going to spray it on there and start rubbing it in real hard or leave it on there for a long time. Basically what we're going to do is either spray it on and then let it melt the tar and then rinse it right off and then neutralize it with um, uh, like Reset or Echo. Or we're going to just spray it directly on, if that doesn't work, we're going to spray it directly on a towel and then just gently rub at that tar and wipe it off so that we're not grinding into the coating with a heavy solvent like that. So. I think that pretty much explains the whole idea of the, of the full circle of the uh, CarPro products. And we're going to go ahead and move on to the next subject. Okay, so number four in things you may not have known about CarPro. And that is, which products came first? Obviously, over time, a product line evolves and expands and captures all of the little things that it may not have had at the start. So what were those most important products? Or I guess you could say, what were the five most important products that CarPro believed in? Um, as we discussed in the last subject, um, the whole thing is built around C Quartz. So C Quartz was the first product that CarPro had. And this is C Quartz SIC. It's obviously an evolved version. We're 12 years later. Um, but this is uh, pretty similar to the, uh, that's the box size that the original C Quartz was in. Different design, different product inside the bottle, but similar anyway. So the ceramic coating was item number one. And I can't remember every product that was in the line uh, at the beginning, but I know it was just a handful of products. And I'm going to say Iron X was definitely one of the first. Pearl was definitely one of the first. D-Scale is much newer. Reload, this is Reload 2.0, but Reload, that was right there at the beginning. Tar X. And finally, I think Eraser, I think Eraser came, I remember launching Eraser, and so I believe it came a couple years later. So I'm not going to say that that was one of the first, but it's pretty close. Um, but the Merino Mitt, uh, the Merino Mitt was actually a product that I did a review for online uh, in 2009 or 2010, I believe, before I ever even started Sky's Limit Car Care. So Sky's Limit Car Care, we started in 2012. And uh, at the time, CarPro had uh, probably five products. It was not a well-known brand, um, certainly not in the United States or, or even globally. They had just launched their product line. Nobody obviously knows about you when you first start, but they had made such sensational products uh, that even though the designs, now they look so clean and, and sleek and the design is just beautiful. The guys that are you know, in the design department of Laza, he's these guys are just you know, crushing it. But back then, Avi, the owner of CarPro Global, he was doing it all himself. In the very beginning, he was designing the bottles and you know, he was doing, you know, he was designing the label all on his own, doing everything himself. And so it wasn't as consistent. You would have labels that looked a little different. And so there's, there's just a lot of history there that was, that was, it's been fun to watch it grow. But yeah, these are the one, two, three, four, five. I'd say those are probably the first five products. Um, they looked a lot different and we'll probably grab some uh, snapshots if we can find them of the old labels and show those in this video too. Um, Tarex was all green. This used to be like a, it used to like kind of grow green, glow green when you sprayed it on the car. Um, and then obviously the Merino Mitt. That's pretty much all of those products. Reset was one that was really interesting product in the beginning. Oh, Iron X Snow Soap came along quite, quite uh, close to the beginning as well, which we don't have out here. But Iron X Snow Soap was CarPro's only soap. They didn't have like a you know, just a regular soap. It was CarPro Snow Soap. That was what you used for everything. You used it to prep the car. You used it to wash the car. You used it to maintain the car. And again, it, you know, it goes back to our previous subject. It was uh, kind of full circle. You could do everything you needed to do with that. But as the years went on um, and we were looking at what customers could use the most, Reset was a, a huge project of mine. That was one that, um, that I really... Um, went to Avi with um, and was really persistent about getting that created because uh, I, I, ha I had a big belief that if we came out with a soap that didn't smell like Iron X snow soap, we don't need to use the Iron X all the time. And so there's no point to have to, you know, use that soap that doesn't smell great. And guys, you know, we all love to be able to wash our car with it smelling decent. And most of the soaps on the market either had some kind of wax, uh, something you know that would build up that was like a wax gloss enhancer or something like that was, that was based on older tech. Um, and they were also made to be really foamy when guys like me had realized that um, what you really want is for that water to be really nice and slippery so that it, things glide off. You know, you can pull the dirt off, so you want a good cleaning. 
you want uh, good lubricity in the in the solution, and uh, and you want a you know a fresh scent, but you don't want an overpowering scent, or at least that was my feeling. And so that was what I asked for um, from Avi for uh, for a, a new soap, and that's where we came out with Reset. Um, so we, we have lots of good memories with with the way that this whole product line has developed and, and being a part of that here in North America. Um, I think that's pretty much it for that subject. Um, and so we're going to go mo move on to our final uh, thing you did not know about CarPro. So for the final thing that you may not have known about CarPro that we're going to go over today is the Sky is Blue Car Perfume. Uh, the scent that you smell in here is actually the same as CarPro Eraser. Everybody loved Eraser so much. Loved the smell of eraser so much that they kept saying, hey, can you just give us an air freshener that smells just like that? So in typical CarPro fashion, they came out with Sky is Blue to make all of those customers happy. And it's basically a little bottle of perfume that'll last a few months rather than just a, something that dies off in a few days. And it's just got a little glass mini bottle and you can pull that out and hang that right there from your rear view or place it safely wherever, wherever you wish to put, place in your vehicle. Um, that's pretty much it for today. I think we covered everything we wanted to. Uh, hopefully we taught you something new about CarPro today, and if you have any questions or comments, I think we gave you a ton to work with, be sure to leave those below and we will answer those right away. If you haven't subscribed already, please be sure to do so, and we look forward to speaking with you soon. Take care.